Alright, so uh, in this video we're looking at budgeting. Uh, this is going to be important for you guys because in the next um, 18 months or so, you guys are going to be finishing school, you're going to be earning money, you're going to be spending money. You're going to need to hopefully earn more than you spend so you can save up, buy a car, go on a holiday, uh, or just save for your eventual retirement when you're like 60. Um, okay, so we're looking at budgeting. Uh, now the basic idea is that you calculate all of your expenses over a given period of time. You calculate all of your income over a given period of time and you draw it up into a neat little table. Uh, let's read this question. A uni student who lives with her parents has the following expenses. Uh, $100 a week for food, a monthly public transport cost of $90, a month, uh, $60 a month on books and stationery, health insurance costs $77 a month, Entertainment and snacks cost $45 a fortnight. Uni fees are $900 a year. And clothes cost about $120 a month. Now, obviously, these are all sort of estimates. They'll change over time. Um, now, this uni student also works part-time and receives $300 a week. He also receives $400 a year for birthday and Christmas presents. Uh, they accidentally changed gender so with his parents and draw up his he and he. Okay, definitely a guy. Um, Alright, let's jump straight into it. Now, when you draw up a table, it's going to look something like this. So here's our table here. It's going to have four columns. Uh, now, the left-hand two columns are going to be your income amount, and these ones are going to be your expenses. Um, and if it lets us, we should merge those two columns together. Yeah, it won't do it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so now we're going to start filling this stuff in. Now the income we know, part-time work and also gifts. Now the, the difficult thing here though, if you take a look, is we're drawing up a monthly budget. But if you look at this person's income, they receive $300 a week. Now that's uh, fairly useful to us, but we actually need to figure out how much they earn a month, not per week. Now this is more complicated because a lot of you are probably thinking that there's four weeks in a month, but there's not. There's like 4.3 something. So we need to do the conversion. And the way that we convert $300 a week into months uh, is to say uh, this person's... Oops, this person's monthly income is going to be equal to their weekly income times 52. Now when we do the times 52, that's going to give us his yearly income. So first, let's do yearly income. Now that's going to be 300 times 52 and jump straight into your calculator and figure it out. So that's a yearly income of $15,600. $15,600. Now, we don't want the yearly income, we want the monthly income. So once we know the yearly income, we can take the monthly income It's 15,600 and divide it by 12. So if one year is that much, dividing it by 12 will give you one month. And again, you grab your calculator out and figure that out. Divide that answer by 12. It's $1,300 a month. And that's what our second column is for here. So the income from part-time work is $1,300 a month. Now the other piece of income he receives is $400 a year uh, for birthdays and Christmas presents. So for presents per month, if it's $400 a year, that means that per month is going to be 400 divided by 12. And that's going to give us how much per month. 400 divided by 12. Now that's 33.33, and we're just going to round to two decimal places there. 33.33. Now that's all of the income that this person's going to receive. So uh, maybe on the... Oh, we'll, we'll do that at the end, actually. All right, so that's all of the income they're going to receive. 1300 from part-time work, 
and $33.33 from gifts. And that happens every month they earn about that. Now let's start looking at their expenses. Uh, now be careful, make sure you tick everything off as you go. We've done the income, we've done that income. We're doing monthly budget. $100 a week for food and rent. I'm going to skip that. A monthly public transport ticket costs $90. That one's an easy one because it's already monthly. So I can put it straight in. Public transport, 90 bucks. Easy. Um, there's another one here. Books and stationery is $60. That one's easy. Books and stationery. Um, Sixty dollars. Uh, health insurance. That's going to be seventy-seven dollars a month. So we've done that one as well. The last one that we can do straight away is the clothes. Clothes are going to be about one hundred and twenty a month. The rest of them are a real pain. So let's go through them one by one. $100 a week for food and rent. Uh, so food and rent. Now again, because it's for one week, we're going to convert that to a year and then we're going to convert it back to a month. So food and rent for a year is equal to 100 times 52 weeks, which is 5,200. And then food and rent, we'll just call it food, for a month, is equal to the yearly cost divided by 12 because there's 12 months in a year. 5 to 0, 0 divided by 12. That gives us uh, $433.33 per month. So that was food and rent, $433.33 per month. We're still going to need some more rows here. Should let me insert a row. Okay. Okay, so we've done food and rent, we've done public transport, we've done books and station, we've done health insurance. Entertainment and snacks cost $45 a fortnight. Okay, so entertainment. Again, because we're dealing with months, we're going to have to convert this to a yearly one. Uh, now, a fortnight is two weeks, so there's 26 fortnights in a year. 45 times 26 will give us our yearly entertainment amount. 45 times 26, 1,170. And then convert it to monthly entertainment, monthly, 1,170 divided by 12. That's $97.50. Ah, uh, entertainment. $97.50 per month. Not spending much there. Uh, last one. Uni fees are $900 a year. Uh, grab my pen again. Where's my finger? Uni fees for a month. If it's $900 per year, a month is going to be 900 divided by 12. Our calculator helps us. 75 bucks. Okay. And that was uni fees. We're doing really well here. Um, I know it looks like a lot of work, but remember this is really something that if you're going to be smart with money when you, when you finish, uh, it's certainly something that you're going to want to do. Now down the bottom here we do total income and total expenses. Now that's just going to be a matter of taking all of these income amounts and adding them together, 1, 3, 3, 3, 33, and taking all of these expense amounts and adding them together. So put all them into your calculator. I won't make you watch that, I'm just going to do it on my calculator and you can see the answer. Okay, I put all those amounts into my calculator and I ended up with $952.83.
Okay, so the good news is that we have now finished our monthly budget. Now, when you do a table like this, you're going to use a pencil or a pen ruler, and you'll do all of that by hand, not uh, typing it onto a computer like I have. Monthly budget, income, all of your incomes on the left-hand side, and all of your expenses are on the right-hand side, down the column, down the column, totals down the bottom. Now, stop, think about this for a second. This is good news for whoever this person is because their total income is 1,333. That's how much money they're oops, that's how much money they're making every month. And their total expenses are only 952. This means that every month they're going to save some money. Uh, and we can do that work now. Uh, if I can if I can get this to work. So calculate how much money he will save every month. Savings equals the total income minus the total expense. And that'll give us 1333.33 minus $952.83. We get our calculator out. 1333.33 minus $952.83. They're saving $380.50 per month. And so that's how much they're saving each month. So that's pretty good. They're saving nearly $100 a week. Our last step here. If he wants to save $3,000 to go on a holiday, how long will it take? So if you're doing $380.50 per month, uh, we can figure out our time until holiday. And that'll equal uh, $3,000, because that's how much we need, divided by uh, $380.50 because that's how much we're saving every month. Now when we calculate that, 3,000, oops, too many zeros, 3,000 divided by $380.50, it gives us 7.88. Uh, now when you think about that, that's 7.88, we can probably round that up and say time to save for holiday is eight months. Okay, so you can see um, there's a lot of work here. There's a lot of lot a lot of um, looking at the reading the question, sorry, drawing a table, doing a lot of like little pieces of maths here where you convert. Uh, weekly to yearly and then monthly or fortnightly to monthly. Uh, but it's all very straightforward once you've got the hang of it. And two, it's very, very real world. You can imagine this person spending this amount of money and making this amount of money. So please uh, try as much as possible not to think about this in terms of formulas and steps, etc., etc., but instead think about this as an actual person making some money spending some money, trying to figure out how much they'll save every month and trying to figure out how long it would take them to save for a particular holiday. Also, just be careful. Make sure that you get the format uh, here of the monthly budget right. Uh, so um, income on the left, expenses on the right, totals down the bottom. All right, it's been a long one, guys. Sorry for that. Uh, that's budgeting in a nutshell.